be if you was to actually take a pin and rotate that pin on a piece of cotton around the position of Tromsø, then you're closer to the North Pole than you are to Oslo. The landscape of Northern Norway is pristine, it's beautiful. It's probably one of my favorite places on the planet. The mountains, they're so dramatic and they come straight down to the, to the beaches on, on the edge of the sea. The kayak is just the perfect tool for exploring these fjords and the interaction between you and the whales is so unique when you're in a kayak. Um, but you're close enough to experience the energy of what's going on. A pod of killer whales comes swimming past you and they don't even turn sideways to look at you because they're chasing the heron and the same with the humpbacks. You are a part of that food chain, you're experiencing it right at the very crux of what's going on. never had a boring day paddling in northern Norway. The scenery is always unfolding and it's always majestic in its splendour. The Sami used to consider that Aurora Borealis were their spiritual ancestors. It puts a whole mystical element into the north of Scandinavia. They have boundless energy. I think they're one of the most fuel efficient animals on the planet, the husky. And that energy is, it crosses over to you. When you're caught up in, in the pack, you feed off of their energy. And if, if, you, if you're if you quite lazy by nature, they'll, they'll, they'll chivvy you along and they'll make sure that you work, work for your keep as well as, you know, for supporting them. It's a unique way of travel. You know, it's, it's very much um, a way of travel in the north, in, in the highlands of, of snow and mountain. And, it, and it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Guiding people in, in, in this environment is unique in so much as being able to take someone from a society that's wrapped up for the majority of a year in cotton wool and be able to remove that cotton wool and take them out into the wild. I'm always looking for that wow factor, that expectation that around the corner there is going to be something that's going to blow the minds away of, of the people that are travelling with you. It is an amazing honour and, and pleasure to be able to experience that as a guide.